Hey everybody, if you've been following the news, then you know what I'm about to talk about. Um, Josh Duggar and his molestation charge, not charge, allegation, and his confession to it. Uh, at 14 years old, he molested five minors and some or all of them were his siblings, his sisters. Now we have to consider the fact that three years is the statute of limita limitations on this crime. So he's off the hook. It happened in 01. Uh, nobody found out about it until 06. And even then nothing happened again because of the statute of limitations. Fine. The Duggars knew what they were doing. They got an attorney. They talked to an attorney or they talked to some church elders too. And then they took Josh to a, a family friend and then lied and told the police, oh, Josh went to therapy. He went to counseling for four months. And then Michelle confessed to the cops that he had not been to counseling. It was just a family friend. In other words, to get him out of the area for a while and away from their daughters. Um, this family friend, the contractor, has no counseling experience. He's not a therapist. And they were just hiding their son out. They were harboring a criminal, a 14-year-old molester. You can't call it anything under that, anything below that, just because he's who he is or he lives in the quiverful movement, you know, which is breed as much as possible, pump children out as quickly as you can, raise them strictly in a closed homeschooling environment and never let them know the reality of the world around them just to spread Christianity as much as you can. It's an, it's a desperate attempt to repopulate a dying breed. Um, I don't agree with them at all on that. That's, that's kind of sick. They're like running farms, these families with multiple kids for that. So they raise their kids, they're sheltered, they're told that they must always forgive others, their bad deeds. And so these daughters were told to forgive them. Forgive your brother for touching your girl junk. Forgive your brother for fondling your boobs, you know. Um, and they are obligated to do that because they're the girls and he's the boy. And the Duggars gave this older son, even at 14, some authority. If you've watched the show, the early shows that they had, before there were 19 kids, I think there were like 10 at the time, they gave Josh a lot of authority over the other kids as an elder almost to help out when the parents couldn't, which was most of the time because there's too many kids. But so they were also taught the other kids to respect their elders and the authority that the elders had over them. So these girls were trained to not judge or debate an issue with someone of authority and to respect them. So this happened to them because they had to respect the authority that he had um, over them that was given to him by his parents. You don't give that kind of authority to a 14 year old boy. These quiverful families are dangerous cults. That's what they are. I don't care how pleasant they look on the outside. I was a victim of it too. I used to watch them and I, I thought they were great until I found out about the quiverful thing and I realized that's what they were doing. But Jim Bob never told the police. He never told the police. Um, a friend supposedly wrote down everything that they knew about what Josh had done, folded it up, put it in a book, forgot about it for years, loaned the book out, and the person that they loaned the book to found the pa paper, read everything, and was like, oh my God, and then contacted the Oprah show. I think that's how it went down and told the producers about it because they were getting ready to be on her show. Oprah was the one who said, call the authorities and report this now. So that's how it all came to be. And that was in 06. And then when the police questioned Jim Bob about it, he would not let them question his son. And he claimed that Josh went to some kind of counseling place for four months and it turned out Michelle told the truth. He was not at any kind of a counseling place. It was a friend in Little Rock with no counseling experience. And all he did was let Josh stay with him. Basically, they just got him away from their girls. And Jim Bob's not dumb. If he was dumb, he wouldn't have such authority over his whole clan like that. He's a smart man. He knows how to rule them just like that, just like that under the thumb and how to use the Bible to do that. And he had did his research and he knew that three years three years and Josh was fine. He would not be charged with anything and they managed it. 
he went to the church elders and then he and the church elders got together and they took Josh to a state trooper friend named Hutchins. Jim Hutchins, Arkansas state trooper. Jim Bob knew him personally. Hutchins did not take any official action and instead gave Josh a very stern talk. Oh my God. Um, and then it turns out Hutchins is now serving 56 years in prison for child pornography. He never took any action on the claim of Josh molesting all the girls. He did nothing. And I know he's in jail for 56 years, but he should still be prosecuted on this. He broke the law. He is supposed to enforce the law. He was breaking the law. He didn't report it. But then again, he was on boat with Josh. Yeah, buddy, I like the I like the little ones too. And then Jim Bob, what's the statute of limitations for him not report the crime against a child? Because it doesn't matter if the crime is committed by a child. If the victim is a child, it has to be reported. If anyone knows about it, it's got to be reported. That's the law. And I think every state has its own stat statutes on that. I'm not sure what the statutes are in Arkansas, but Jim Bob broke the law. He never told anybody. The elders in the church, they never told anybody. And I can understand handling issues within the congregation because, you know, you know, the Catholic priest thing and all like that. But when it's a crime, I don't, I don't think that applies to that. I don't think you can go to your preacher or your church elders and confess a crime without reporting it. I, I don't, if you can, then that's all I need to hear to know that religion's a cult. You know, they're not above the law. I want to see Jim Bob prosecuted. I want to see Michelle prosecuted and those poor girls. Oh my goodness. They were told, they told the news people and the police that the girls forgave Josh. Well, why do you think they forgave him? Because they've been raised in such a closed environment. They've been told you have to forgive. It's, it's demanded by God that you forgive and you release the weight from your heart. You don't just forgive and it's gone. But these girls were obligated to forgive because Josh was considered kind of an elder of authority. And you have to forgive. You have no choice. And they basically told those girls, you're just not that important. You know, you're not that important. We have to cover this up and protect your brother. And don't ever talk about it again. That's a sickness. This family is sick. They knew good and damn well everything that they said after, everything that they said about morals and values and protection and de decency was shit after they found out what that boy did. They knew they were lying. They are raising a cult. I don't know. What's your opinion? My opinion is fuck them. And I'm glad TLC pulled their show at least temporarily. I hope they pull it for good. It's a cult. It's a cult. When you shelter your kids that bad, that's conditioning. That's an indoctrination, period. I mean, the last time I saw a cult be, you know, televised like that, it was Jonestown with the Kool-Aid and the murders. You know, it, mm, I don't care what extreme the cult is. It's still a cult. And it needs to be pulled from TV. And there's some prosecutions in order. There really is. If nothing else, then because they did not report it. And those girls were so sheltered and forced to deal with it and not get therapy. They only therapy Josh because he was the man. So it was more important that he get it. And girls just need to understand that men are weak. They have weaknesses. That's exactly what she told them. I know that's what she told them. She told them girls that men are weak and we have to be stronger for them because she is just fucking stupid. Anyway, thanks for stopping by and listening to my shit. I can't stand these people. I used to love their show and I, I just over the years can't stand them anymore. They're sick. Hit the red button below and hang out with me some more and everyone have a great afternoon. Bye.